Hi everybody, it's Jay Mawinney again. Uh, I decided to do a second video today. Uh, I wanted to make an addendum to the uh, What Inspires Me little uh, talk that I had about those blogs yesterday. Uh, again, I'm going to read it. I think it's easier. <laughs> I read an article apropos to uh, yesterday's blog uh, this, uh, this morning. Uh, actually, it was yesterday morning in Time Magazine, talking about the epitome of dreamers who do. This is what goes on at an institute called the Institute for, Ad for Advanced Studies. Um, it's about 20 minutes from uh, Princeton University, but it's uh, separate. Uh, the early members of the faculty were lightweights like Albert Einstein, Robert Oppenheimer, George Kennan, who developed the Intellectual Foundation for Foreign Policy, mathematicians galore, physicists, sociologists, 33 Nobel laureates and hundreds of mathematics uh, special awards people. It's well endowed and hopefully we'll continue on with the theoretical thinking that brought so many fabulous things this brought Google, the computer, Microsoft. <laughs> Constraints of our instant pudding society for useful inventions now, this minute, not tomorrow, threatens think tanks. But hopefully they can move on alone, if not with the government's help and popular support. The great inventions didn't happen because someone wanted to uh, invent something. They happened from a genius's imagination, or not genius, just a smart man, smart woman. We let their dreams go wild, their imaginations go wild. That's what developed everything. When you have to zone in on a particular item that you have to have, you're not going to invent much. Inventions become from what you found out there in the universe while you're letting your imagination go and in studying something that just sparked you. Washington used to listen readily to these people. They, they could pick up a phone and talk to the president in about two seconds, uh, but not lately. Now with all the funds limitations, it's uh, much more important to uh, fund welfare than it is scientific research. What can you think? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Priorities are, um, we need to help everybody, but uh, we can't forget what made this country and made this world. I saw a semblance of this in a plain two-story brick building that I passed every day going from 30th Street train station in Philadelphia to my classes at University of Penn. As I was going in at 8 a.m., there were one after the other people coming out of this building with long hair, full beards, Pendleton plaid shirts, sandals or sneakers, and a backpack. They were going home. This was the IBM High Tech Group, the think tank. No three-piece gray suits and clean shaves for them. This was the core of people that created the true computer as we know it today. They were writing new language from the Fortran 40 of the early computers. No one told them what to do. <laughs> they just imagined and dreamed their high-level mathematical minds, and um, if they were forced to have an end product or, or nothing, like many times uh, industry does now, we wouldn't have the fabulous technology that we see today. The Steve Jobs, the... Oh my gosh. Everybody. Everybody that's done anything. Have a great day, everybody. Love you all.